Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Shariyelle, if you're new. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. I am back. I've been gone for a month and a half and I disappeared out of nowhere and it's because I got an opportunity to work on a movie. Early July, I got a call and someone that I went to elementary school with, she called me and asked if I wanted to work on a movie and it's for a popular TV network. So of course I say yes. And literally two days later, I'm driving up to the hotel and I'm under contract and all of a sudden I'm now a truck costumer for a movie. This ended up being four weeks and for the first week and a half, I literally did not know what I was doing. I have no background in film or theater and the description that I got was all you have to do is steam clothes out and prepare things. So I'm thinking, okay, that's easy, right? Totally wrong. So truck costumers dress each actor for every single scene. We're the ones that bring them their clothing to the trailer, and we also take old clothing back from older scenes. And this seems easy until you realize how many characters there are and all the accessories they're gonna wear from head to toe. I'm talking about earrings all the way down to specific socks. So I'm walking into this industry of film and everything they're saying, I have no idea what, you're talk what they're talking about. They're talking about call sheets, principles, background, scenes, literally all this stuff. And the crazy thing is I need to know all of this stuff to be able to do my job. For three weeks nonstop, of having to figure out how to read a call sheet. And I'll put an example call sheet up so you guys can see what it is. A call sheet is basically what scenes you're gonna shoot for that day. They tell you if the scene is indoors or outdoors. It tells you which day it is in the script, which scene it is in the script, and a small description. Um, and it literally looks like Mandarin if you don't know how to read it. And thank God my coworkers were super helpful with, with me. But um, truck costuming is very hard. And to give you guys an example of what I had to do as truck, I'm gonna use one of my favorite movies, White Chicks. So as a truck costumer, I told you, you have to dress them from head to toe, each of the main characters, which are called principal characters. Sean and Marlin are one and two on the call sheet, and one and two are basically the main characters. Each actor is numbered by their importance, basically how much they're in the movie. So let's say Sean is one and Marlin is two, and if you can see closely, Marlin has these hairpins in his hair, in his wig, all the way to also Sean having a belt. These are little accessories that you have to know that they wear for that outfit. And then on top of that, their shirts, the jackets, the pants, the shoes. I have to know which scene that's for, um, how long, basically how long they wear it. The call sheet tells you how many pages or partial pages, it goes by one eighth that they're wearing this outfit. I have to know all of this. I have a walkie talkie on me to know what's going on and the setup of the cameras. You have to be so attentive with this job. And <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time. So you see Marlon's hair pins to Sean's belt. And then there's other principal characters, which are the three girls in the back, which are their friends. I have to know what they're wearing as well. So not, I have to prepare all of these things. I have to have their shoes ready. I have to have their socks. I need to steam out their shirts if they're wrinkled. I have to check for stains because sometimes when an actor wears something and then they wear it again because they're shooting in the same day, I have to make sure there's no stains on it. If there is, we have to know how to care for these clothes. Sometimes the director or whoever's calling the shots, they might switch a scene. So I'm prepared for this next scene that's coming up and they're like, oh, we're not doing scene 50, we're doing scene 86. 
So now that I had all the actors clothes set, which is they, they call it set, which means the clothes are ready. I have to now get all the clothes ready for scene 86 when I already had 50 ready. So it's literally insane. And it sounds simple, but I, I just can't explain it to you <laughs> for you to understand. But a little funny part that happened to me was when I was giving the clothing to the actors for whatever scenes, I kept messing stuff up. I'm not gonna act like I was perfect. I messed up every day. And one of the actors, he was seasoned. And it was so funny because I, I kept messing up. And he looked at me, he was like, you need to get it together. <laughs> and I was like in my head, you're right. <laughs> and from then on, I made sure I had my stuff together. And I appreciate that because when people are too nice to you, you're not on your stuff. But when somebody's like, tighten up, that's what you do. Um, and the seamstress ended up leaving. So I also doubled as the seamstress for the set. And it was intense as well, but I was so much more comfortable in that position because I know what I'm doing when I'm sewing. Uh, there's a lot of times I had to take in suits, take in the waist for skirts, um, what else did I do? I hemmed pants, you know, I did fittings with the head designer, and that was much more pleasant for me. Um, the only thing was, because people don't sew, they think sewing is magic. So they'll, somebody will give me a dress and be like, oh, can you take this in? And then the next thing I know, the PA, which is the production assistant, they're coming up to me like, oh, hey, um, when is the dress gonna be ready because we need a dress actress B, whatever, you know? And I'm like, in my head, I just got the dress. Um, it's not gonna be done for another 20 minutes. But you have to keep a positive attitude. You just have to be pleasant and get things done. Um, even when you're being rushed and pressured because there were times where, there were times where they would say we, they needed something right away to be sewn up and then they didn't really need it for another hour. But you just have to get it done. And I, another thing I didn't know with film is that the days are so long. There's days that we have had 15 to 16 hour days. Literally, we would get up in the hotel super early in the morning, bring the clothes to the site wherever we we're shooting. And then by the time we got back to the hotel, it's so late. And if craft wasn't good, if the food wasn't good, we'd have to eat takeout and you're eating heavy food before you go to bed and then when you go to bed you wake up it's time to do it all over again if you're a truck costumer watching this video um i'll give you three tips of what you need to know if you like you're in school for this or you've never done this before number one have a fanny pack having a fanny pack is amazing because it allows you to have free hands um everybody has a fanny pack on film sets because there's various things in there your phone your money um, you can hook your walkie-talkie to it. Of course, you need a kit. And if you don't have a kit, you can use your fanny pack to have stuff in there. You're going to need a lot of safety pens. You're going to need like tied things to clean up stains right away. Sometimes you need moleskin. Um, what else do we have in the kit? A hand needle and thread. Um, a bunch of things because sometimes you need a and you need a seam ripper and scissors. Another thing as a truck costumer is, I don't know if you can even get away with this, but really read the script. Reading the script will help you so much because reading the script in its entirety and taking notes about changes, it makes it so much easier when you use Sync on Set. That's an app that we use to keep track of what they wear and which scene. Um, so yeah, read the script in its entirety. Don't skip, skim through it. Read the entire thing. It helps you so much when you have a call sheet and you, when you read the call sheet, you know exactly what they're talking about in each scene for each day. And a third tip for somebody that's a truck costumer, I would really say for anybody really in film is take care of yourself. Honestly, this industry, it's it's fine, but it does so much wear and tear on your body because you have such long hours. By the time you get home, everything's closed. You don't have healthy options. So if you can, I would say take care of yourself as much as possible by drinking water, having vitamins, and also have a mini magic bullet. I bought one for my hotel because I just can't take it anymore. I could not eat unhealthy anymore. Um, and my skin was 
going crazy. I had to have some type of nutrition, some type of greens in me. If Kraft doesn't give you, you know, enough vegetable options, definitely get yourself like a mini magic bullet to make smoothies to make sure that you're getting the nutrients that your body needs. <laughs> Um, but yeah, overall it was very challenging. It was something I'd never done before, but I'm never afraid to do something new. Um, if I were asked to do it again, I would not be a truck costumer, but I would be a seamstress again. And it's cool being on sets and being in another world because it really takes up your entire life when you work on a movie. Like your whole life is just on pause for four weeks because you film usually for three weeks and then you have a wrap week after. So it did take up most of my life and I didn't get to do my YouTube, but I'm back. I have plenty of ideas, plenty of videos for you guys, a new backdrop if you've noticed, and I'm ready to go. And I'm back with the podcast as well. So thank you so much for all of my new subscribers who don't know me. Thank you for subscribing. And I thank you guys for just sticking around because there is so much more in store. If you got this far in my video, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to me and hit that bell notification button to see right when I post. Thank you once again for watching. You are appreciated.